lo esperaba, pero ganó una mujer. Entonces, vámonos. Este, este tema era del liderazgo femenino, pero yo lo enfoqué a que el liderazgo femenino no es solo de mujeres. Ya, vivimos Argentina, Brasil, Chile, Jamaica y Trinidad Tomado, que tuvieron. Eh,
Hello, 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 hello. Can you hear me? Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good hello, evening. Good evening, teacher. How good are evening. You? I'm doing nice. I'm uh, doing nice. Uh, running? Corriendo? <laughs> oh, no. My goodness, oh, no. running. Running. Yeah, you came running? Yes. Sudando. Sweating. Okay. Sweating, sweating. So, running. Uh, in order for you to be on time. Uh, what, teacher? Okay, so you were running in order for you to be on time, right? Ah, para llegar a tiempo. Uh -huh. Yes. Para cumplir con, el, con los minutos. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, that, that, that is really, really important, okay? Okay. Okay, so let's see who's not here. <coughs> Veamos how many, my goodness, solo habemos 12 participants. Ya se me han hecho los demás. Today is Thursday. Thank you for the camera. Okay, sir. Okay. So we are going to start with the attendance. Let's see, now we are 14. Uh, let's see, Adri. Okay, no problem, Adri. Then let's see, my goodness, Nelson. Where are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> Nice background. Looks like if it is a real Nelson. Creo que de verdad anda en la playa, Nelson. No, teacher. <laughs> you wish. You wish, but no, it's not. Okay, but it's a nice background, okay? So let's see, we have Rafael, Adri, uh, Sandra, I don't see your camera, Ophelia. I don't see your camera, Ophelia. Sulma, thank you for your camera. Nice, Ernesto, nice, Margarita. Now you have your camera. Oh my goodness. Me regreso mejor. Yeah, yeah. Now <laughs> you are at the, like in, in uh, Santa Claus house, right? Because of the snow. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, Osmin is now at home. Yes, yes. <laughs> Okay, so we are about to start with the attendance first, and then I will give you a couple of minutes only for you to complete the conversation. Did you remember the conversation that we have for uh, from yesterday? Yes, teacher. Okay, so that's the one. That's the one that we are going to. Um, <clears throat> complete today. Okay, so let me pass the attendance really quick. And the same story, let me know if you um, are here. Let's see, 
today is Thursday the second, right? So, Ada Patricia. Present. Thank you. Uh, Adriana and Stephanie. Present. Thank you. Anna Michelle. Present. Thank you. Angela de Jesus. Present, teacher. Thank you. Darwin Edgardo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Darwin. Flor de Maria. Flor de Maria. No. Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Thank you, Gloria. Joanna Patricia. Joanna Patricia. I saw Joanna Patricia in the list. No. Joana Patricia, no. Uh, Lourdes Beatriz. Lourdes is not here yet. Uh, Margarita Stephanie. I'm here. Thank you, Margarita. Uh, Mayra Melanie. Present teacher. Nice, thank you. Nelson Edgardo. Present. Thank you, Nelson. Mm, let's see who's next, Nelson. Then we have Ophelia Orellana. Here, teacher. Thank you, Ophelia. Osmin Baires. Present, teacher. Present. Nice, thank you. Rafael Ernesto. Present. Thank you, Rosa Elena. Not here. Gladys Sandra. No. Susana Carolina. No. Jancy Lisbeth. Present. Thank you, just Jancy. And Sulma Rosaura. Present. Okay, perfect. I have the attendance. Um, let's see. Uh, now we are going to pass the attendance one more time. So uh, let's see. I have in the chat. My goodness. Uh, let's see. We have people that it's missing, right? So for the groups, right, we are working in, in trios, right? So we are working in trios. So let's see, because we have, uh, let's see, Mayra, well, Mayra, Melanie, it's here. So let me see who's sí, missing. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, I know, I know. Mm -hmm. So what we are going to do, we are going to switch the activity, okay? So we are going to put in hold like uh, the, the, the activity for the conversation and that way we wait for the ones that are missing and we wait for the ones that are, you know, driving or uh, getting home, okay? So at night, so we are going to continue with the conversation and that way they will be at home, okay? Así no va a ir. Ahí Mayra con una mano escribiendo, imagínese con una otra mano manejando. So that's not possible, right? So don't worry, Mayra, okay? So at night we are going to do the, the groups, okay? And that way probably all of the participants will be in the class. So uh, for now we are going to switch, right? So let me share the screen. And we are going to change the, the activity, okay? So we will see the presentation. So this is the, the one that we start yesterday, but we haven't finished, right? So we couldn't. So this is something that we did already. And this is the uh, part that we are, right? So the idea is that we are doing a, a conversation for a product. 
and we are trying to use the uh, bold letters, right? So we are going to put this activity on hold and we are going to continue. Okay, so we have this topic and this topic is also in the book. Okay, so I'm not inventing the, the topics. They are, well, this topic is there, okay? In the manual, in the book that we have. The indirect questions, okay? So this is something that we used. We do have this in, in Spanish as well. We do have indirect preguntas indirectas, okay? No es que vamos a tirar una mala, una hablada a la gente, está hablando indirecto, no. So uh, that is something else, okay? So we will see the indirect questions, okay? In English and also we have it written in Spanish, okay? So we do have uh, that topic. Uh, let's see, um, Darwin, please help us uh, with the with the reading right here, please. Okay, teacher. What are indirect questions? They are a little more formal and polite. We use them when talking or writing to a person we don't know very well or in professional situation. Mm -hmm. Continue, please. We usually use them in formal letters. And finally, the word order is also different from normal question. Thank you, Darwin, nice. So what are the indirect questions? It says that they are little uh, more formal and polite. What is polite? Educado. Educado, okay. Cordial, cordial okay. Ah. That means that the indirect questions are a little bit formal, okay. They are polite, okay. Son eh, preguntas de manera corta educadas, ok, no así como hay que onda vos, right, so eso es bien informal que yo le diga a alguien, hey, what's up, right, so eso se lo voy a decir yo a mi chero, right, eh, así como, como en español, right, que le diga, que onda vos, hay hasta otras peores, right, pero, pero eso es informal, so these ones, the end of the questions are very formal, ok, and it says that we use them, um, when we are talking or writing to a person we don't know very well, or in professional situations, okay? That means that we are going to use indirect questions, for example, when you are talking with someone that you don't know, or your boss, for example, right? So de una o de otra manera, so we need to, we need to talk with our, our boss in a very, polite wait, right? So very formal because it's my boss, right? So I'm not talking with my friend, right? So I'm talking with the boss and I need to speak really, really, really formal, okay? Ahora, si hay confianza ahí con el, con el jefe, verdad, es otra cosa. But in real life, in real life, so you need to be very formal, right? So a su jefe no le va a decir, hey, ¿qué onda, po? Not right, so you, you refer to the boss like, good morning, how are you? Okay, so very polite. And also when we are writing, okay, normally and most of the time when we are writing, so we need to be very polite, okay? As I told you, for example, the, the I guess I told you like the pre, in the first classes that when we have a apostrophe or we have a contraction, that is like informal. So when we are writing a letter or writing something, you better uh, write the full way, the long form without apostrophes, okay? Because if you put too much apostrophes in the writing, can be a letter or can be whatever, but it's writing. And if you put too many apostrophes, that looks really informal, like impolite. Okay, but when we are talking, it's better to use the apostrophe because we sounds a little bit fluent, right? So that's the idea for that's why we have the uh, famous apostrophe, right? To 
um, use them when we are talking, but when we are writing or when we are talking with someone that we don't know or someone higher than me in my job, for example, my boss. So I have to be very polite. So that's why we have the indirect questions, okay? And it says right there, we usually use them in form and letters, okay? So ahora si le va a mandar una carta a un amigo, no va a ir ahí. Querido amigo, dos puntos. Espero te encuentres muy bien. No, o sea, un amigo, ¿y qué onda? Po? ¿Y qué contás? ¿Qué pex? Right. So that's the way we, that's the way. <risa> Risa le da, así hablan ustedes. Ok, so very informal, right? Angela, así cabal. <risa> no, no puedo. <risa> No, me too, me too. No puedo, no puedo, no puedo. But, you know, young people, it's normal, okay? For them, it's normal to talk like that. But obviously, that is not really polite, right? So, if you're writing a letter to a company or to something in your job, so you will try to right like you know very nice right and at the end it says the words order it's also different from normal questions so vamos a ver que las indirect questions el orden de las palabras va a ser un poquitito diferente pero it makes sense okay no es algo que le doy vuelta a todo no right so uh yeah you have to put like something before and then you do the question. So that's the, the different, okay? We will see some examples. I don't know if we are clear right here. Que el, acuérdese, las indirect questions son bien formalitas, okay? Usted las va a ocupar cuando esté hablando o escribiéndole a alguien que usted no mucho conoce, de una manera profesional, a alguien como su jefe. Usted va a ocupar estas indirect questions ahí con su best friend su colega, su amigo, su carnal, no, ahí, ahí usted habla sin indirect questions, pero cuando estoy hablando English, for example, with someone that you don't know, so we expect to be very formal, very polite. Let's see the examples that we have, look. We have the regular question, que sería la pregunta normal, and the indirect questions, okay, que sería la, la, Pregunta que es uh, formal, okay? Formal. So look, the regular question. It says, what will the weather be like tomorrow? What will the weather like be, be like tomorrow, right? So, esa es una pregunta normal, digamos, regular, no tiene nada, okay? So, Look at the end of the question. I wonder, okay, the expression I wonder makes that question as an indirect question. What the weather will be like tomorrow, okay? I wonder what the weather will be, okay, like tomorrow. So, las dos preguntas son lo mismo. Si usted se fija, las dos preguntas están con el, o sea, se está refiriendo a lo mismo, ok. What will the weather be like tomorrow? Como que yo le diga a alguien, hey, ¿cómo, es, cómo irá a estar mañana el clima? Ok, so, let me be careful with the mute. Sandra, ok, so, Okay, now look at the look at the, the other one right here, the indirect, right? Very formal. I wonder. Como traduzco ese I wonder. Me pregunto. Uh -huh. Es como que usted, yo le pregunté a alguien, ¿verdad? Así con, con educación, con respeto. Mire, no sé, estoy pensando, ¿cómo cree que estaría el clima mañana? ¿Cómo estará el clima mañana? No sé. Okay. En el otro es como, hey, ¿qué onda? ¿Cómo estará mañana el clima? Right? So, indirect. Okay. Look at the second example. Why were you absent yesterday? Vengo yo y le digo, hey, ¿qué onda? ¿Por qué no viniste ayer? Right? Why were you absent yesterday? Look at the indirect. Can you 
tell me? Y ahí hasta se le puede poner, please. Can you tell me, please, why you were absent yesterday? ¿Podrías, por favor, podrías decirme por qué no viniste ayer? Ok, muy diferente que yo diga, hey, ¿qué onda? ¿Por qué no viniste? Right, aquí yo le diga, podrías, ahí todavía yo le agregaría, please, could you please tell me, ok, why you were absent? ¿Podría, por favor, decirme por qué no se presentó ayer? Ok, where is the bookstore? ¿Dónde está la, 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 la venta de libros? Right, where is the bookstore? Do you know? where the bookstore is. Mire la, el orden como, como cambia, right? De las palabras, se, le, se, se, se mueven, right? Lo que está en red, in this case, lo que está en red. So do you know where the bookstore is? ¿Sabrías tú dónde queda la tienda de los libros? Okay. So you see, I don't know if you're able to... Um, Understand the, the, the difference. O sea, estoy preguntando lo mismo, pero el orden, vea lo que está en, en, en amarillo, les voy a decir en rojo, ok, o orange, no sé qué color lo ven ustedes, pero yo lo veo como rojo, ok. So, there are the same words, ok, las mismas um, palabras, pero el orden es totalmente diferente, ok. So, Are we clear in this part? Más o menos entiende el, el, la idea de las indirect questions. We have some, yeah. okay, we have some examples that we will do, okay? So, ya vamos a practicar. Pero, eh, acuérdese que las indirect, acuérdese, son formales, son bien educadas, eh, son para dirigirme a alguien que... Um, yo no conozco o alguien que yo le debo respeto, right? So, hay una persona mayor. So, ahí. Usted, por ejemplo, está el cool. Creo que ya lo conocen. Cool. Wool. Ok. So, si yo le digo a alguien, would you like? Le gustaría, right? So, pero el wool es como bien, bien formal, bien polite. Okay, nice. So, um, let's see. Questions about this? Let's see. Veamos, veamos, aquí está lo del libro. Miren, para que vean que no me lo he inventado. Aquí está. So, uh, right here it says that this is something on the unit number three, how to use indirect questions. Yes, no questions, okay? Look at the examples in the box, okay? Uh, let's see, help us with the reading. Michelle, please help me out with the reading right here. Okay. Use indirect questions to ask questions in a more polite manner. And, the, and indirect questions express the same meaning as a direct question. But it, but it doesn't present questions word, question word order. First, I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis of the production process. Compare it to, did you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process? Number two. Continue, yep. Thank you. Okay. I'd like to know if the quality control step should be re repeated once the product is finished. Compare it to, should the quality control step be repeated once the product is finished? Okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Thank okay. you, Michelle. Nice. One more time. And the instruction says that we are going to use the indirect questions to ask questions in a more polite manner, okay? So the indirect question expresses the same meaning, okay? No le cambia el significado. Yo lo puedo decir de manera directa o indirecta y estoy diciendo exactamente 
lo mismo. But it's, it says, uh, does not present uh, questions were order. El orden de las palabras cambia, como lo acabamos de ver. Okay, but the meaning, the idea, it's exactly the same, but this is more formal, more polite. And we have the examples right here. Uh, number one, eight, I wonder. Ese I wonder is bien eh, formal. Okay, if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process, okay, bien educado. Que si yo le digo a alguien, hey, ¿qué onda? ¿Recibiste el análisis de los procesos de producto? Así en seco, right? Sí, no me dice la otra persona. Okay, so el otro, I wonder if, me gustaría saber si usted recibió. Okay, very polite. The second example that we have, I like to know, me gustaría saber. Okay, me encantaría saber si eh, los pasos de control de calidad deberían de repetirse una vez que el producto haya finalizado. Y compare it to, should the, uh, el otro es va de un solo, look, should the quality control still be repeated once the product is finished? Como que usted le diga a su amigo, hey, ¿qué onda? Repetimos los pasos otra vez para ver si todo está bien. Right? So, así directo, right? So, uh, let's see the other examples. Uh, help me out, please, uh, Angela. Uh, right here, number one, A to B, two A and two B. Okay, teacher. Uh, number one, Marta. Mm -hmm. Would you tell me us if the cost to run, to run a second quality control will go very high? Mm -hmm. Compare it to, will the cost to run a second quality control go very high? Mm -hmm. Continue. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, the second grade, could you find out if the production manager is around? Compare it to, is the production manager around? Okay, okay. Thank you. Let's see, number one, Marta, would you mind? El que les acabo de mencionar, miren el wool. Wool es bien formal. Cada vez que alguien le diga a usted, would you mind? O sea, piense que le está, le está hablando con mucho respeto. Como en español, usted, por ejemplo, ve, no sé, alguien que para usted merece respeto. Eh, buenas tardes, mire, disculpe. Podría, por favor, así le hablo, ¿verdad? No es, hey, pues, ¿qué onda? Mira, tal cosa. No, right? So, y hay gente que así es, bien indirect, right? Direct. Eh, va uno en el bus, mira, ahí hey, cierra la ventana, de como que es el hermano, right? So, no, usted cuando no conoce a alguien, es, mire, disculpe, podría, por favor, right? Cerrar la ventana, es que mire, que el viento, a, algo así, right? Uno está con el tono agradable. Eh, habla cuando uno no conoce a alguien, right? So, the same story in English. Así que cuando usted escuche que alguien le habla con el would, siéntase bien porque le está tratando de la manera más educada en el inglés. Si alguien le habla directamente con el hey, are you? Con el verbo tu vida, es como, ¿qué onda? Pues mira, so es bien informal, ¿ok? Así como está aquí. Okay, look at this one, will the cost, okay? Le dice, Marta, will you uh, my telling us, okay? Podrías, por favor, decirnos, okay? Y el otro, will, hey, los costos, ¿qué onda? ¿Qué decís, right? So, así. Number two, it says, Greg, could you find down? Podrías, por favor, verificar, podrías verificar if the production manager is around y la otra en seco is the production manager around está el gerente aquí cerca ok o podrías verificar si el gerente está por aquí ok so you see this is something that you need to know ok acuérdese cuando usted esté hablando con alguien no le diga 
Hey, are you the manager? Oh, ¿Qué es eso? Right? Como que le dicen, ¿qué onda? ¿Y vos quién sos? Right? So, bien así, bien feo. Okay? Así como en español usted habla educadamente, así hay que hacerlo en inglés. Eviten el, eh, eh, las oraciones, las preguntas con el B, porque esas son las más informales. Okay? Son las más informales. Y usted puede decir, ah, pues sí, pero es inglés. Sí, pero... Igual en español, o sea, como que usted le esté hablando a su chero, a su colega, así de confianza, right? So, uh, let's continue with the reading, what we have right here. Uh, let's see, Rosa Elena, welcome, by the way. Help us, please, uh, with this, Notice. Okay, good evening. Good evening. Okay, notice that this, not if that if introduce the ended question, which will have sentence order, subject, plus verb, helping verbs like do, does, and did are not included in, the, in indirect questions. Okay, perfect. So this is it's just a note, right? Notice that if introduces, introduces uh, the indirect question, which will have sentence order, okay? So we need to have the order, the subject, the verb, helping verbs like do or does indeed are not included in indirect questions, okay? So el orden de las palabras, as I told you, can change, but the idea and the meaning will be exactly the same. The same story with the punctuation, okay? La puntuación, okay? Like in English, Puntuation is very important, right? Like in Spanish. Usted está escribiendo una carta, no se va a ir en seco, sin ninguna coma, punto, dos puntos, un, según una línea de por medio. Imagínense al pobre prójimo que le toque leer, si no le ha puesto ninguna puntuación, va a terminar de calillado, right? Porque no hay ninguna pausa. La puntuación es para eso, para adecuar la pronunciation, right? So for you to stop for a while, stop if it is a period, uh, do an exclamation, right? So the same story in English, okay? Uh, Gloria, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, please help us with this part right here, punctuation. Okay, uh, punctuation. When the interrogation is asked, the resulting statement uh, with the indirect question will take a, per a period and not a question mark at the end. Okay, so it says right here that punctuation is when the uh, introductory statement is a phrase. Ya vimos las frases, ¿se acuerdan? La, la phrase, ok, it's like a sentence, but it's together with something else, right? So the resulting statements, the resulting statements with the indirect questions will take a period and not um, question mark at the end. So se le omite, dice allí, se le puede omitir el, el question mark. Uh, continue with the punctuation, uh, Nelson Edgardo, right here. Okay, punctuation, when the introductory statement is a, is a question, the resulting statement with the direct question will take a question mark at the end. Thank you. It says when the introduction statement is a question, the resulting statement with the indirect questions will take a Question mark at the end. So the, the, the famous question mark. Mo normally you always will have a question mark if this one is a question, okay? So let's see if we can complete the exercise that we have right here. Look, this is the one that we have in the book. And it says that use the introductory phrases and questions to write indirect, yes, no questions, okay? Vamos a escribir indirect just no questions and it says compare answers with a partner okay so vamos a ver si logramos completar estas indirect yes no questions okay so we have six okay básicamente ya no da ya no da aquí la 
Déjenme tomar una screenshot. Uh -huh. So we are going to do the rooms right now to do this activity. Just let me open something really quick. Hmm, there are six. Ok, so, vamos a hacer esto, vamos a tratar de unirlas normalmente, ya, o sea, en el ejemplo ya está, o sea, ya está lo que usted le va a poner, no le tiene que inventar otra cosa, o sea, ya está. Ahora, lo que yo tengo que hacer es ver el, 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 lo que yo le puedo agregar, o sea, ¿Cómo yo, lo puedo, ¿Cómo yo lo puedo completar? Por ejemplo, la número uno. Ok, number one says, can you tell me? Slash, hay un slash ahí. Is the uh, machinery capable of performing these processes? Ok, so esta quedaría, por ejemplo, le voy a ayudar con la primera. Quedaría, um, let's see. Ah, ok. Could you tell me? Lo mismo. Can you tell me if? Ahí le cambio. Ok. If the machinery is capable of performing these processes. Así quedaría. Can you tell me if? Eso es lo que le voy a meter ahí. El if. Ok. So, let's try to do the rest. Ok. So, le quedan cinco a usted para que usted las complete. Vamos a hacer los grupos un poquito grandecitos. ¿Para qué? Porque sé que algunos no, no están todavía. Sé como que muy activos. No sé si habrán llegado. Bien. So I'm going to create the rooms. I will create uh, four rooms. Normally there will be five. Cinco en cada grupo, ¿ok? Uno creo que queda de cuatro. Dos, 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 dos de cuatro y dos de cinco, ¿ok? So, are we clear about what we are going to do? Yes. Yes, teacher. Ok, so we have four minutes, ¿ok? Well, five minutes, un minuto para cada uno. ¿Ok? La va a reescribir o escribirla y... Solo hay que unirlas, right? Para que quede como una phrase, pero que quede como una indirect. So let me open the rooms right here.
Ahí está la teacher. Thank you, teacher. Permítanme que escucho doble. Ok, let me, let me see. Ok, I'm sorry que me tardé, pero I don't know what happened with Joanna. Well, you saw the messages there, right? So I don't know what happened. She's not able to, to log in and I was trying to help her with, um, with the IT department, but they told me that they will see, uh, they will see tomorrow. I don't know what happened. So that's why, I, and in the case of her, she needs the assistance, but I don't see anything here. There's no option to let someone enter. I don't know what happened. But anyway, so let me share the screen one more time. OK, so I think there were some teams there that were a little confundidos, un poco eh, traveiter, right? Estaban ahí un poco traveiter, <risa> traveiter. Con esto, mire, esto está fácil. Lo que pasa que no tenemos la costumbre, pero aquí, mire, aquí está la clave. Espérenme, déjenme ver dónde estaba sombreando yo mi, mi, mi lapicillo. Aquí está, aquí está, mire. Sorry, aquí está la clave. It says, 
if, esta es como la introducción, el if, ok, es como eh, lo que le voy a poner, porque estoy haciendo una phrase, entonces son como dos oraciones en una, en este caso, preguntas, ok, y luego tengo que cambiar el order, ok, tengo que cambiar el order, y qué va primero, el sujeto y después el verbo. Ok, si hay helping birds, like do, does, and did, did not, did not include, no se pone. Ok, vamos a intentar hacer el ejercicio, ya van a ver que lo vamos a comprender mejor. Esa es la idea de hacer esta práctica, right? So, number one ya la habíamos dicho, ok? So, yo no le voy a cambiar porque el significado sea direct o indirect tiene que ser the same, right? So, I'm not able to change de the, the idea, no voy a estarle preguntando una cosa y después otra, right? So la pregunta es la misma. El meaning, the idea is exactly the same. So number one, ya les había dado esta, que esta queda. Can you tell me if? Okay, can you tell me if? Después del if, ¿qué dijimos que va? El sujeto. El sujeto. The marginary is the, the the subject. Después del sujeto, ¿qué dijimos que iba? El verbo. El verbo. El verbo. Okay. Is. Is. Yo no voy a poner otro verbo, otro sujeto. Voy a poner el mismo, right? So, can you tell me if the machinery is capable of performing these processes? Question. Ok, so veamos la número dos, veamos la número dos. Uh, Margarita, help us please with the number two. Uh, it's like to know the manufacturer by will new machinery to produce our orders on time. Uh -huh. Así les quedó a ustedes. Sí. Uh -huh. Bueno, no. Uh -huh. Nosotros pusimos will buy, pero como veo la estructura del libro, lo cambié, porque tiene que ser el sujeto, el uh -huh. verbo y luego el helping auxiliary. Exacto. Okay. Que sería will. En este caso quedaría I like to know if. ¿Verdad? Primero, uh -huh. I like to know if, ¿cuál es el sujeto? The manufacturer, ¿ok? ¿Cuál es el verbo? By. No, el verbo aquí sería will, future, ¿ok? Will, by sería como el helping verb en este caso, ¿ok? Porque está una, una pregunta en futuro, me gustaría saber... Sí, se va a comprar. Ok, so the manufacturer will buy new machinery to produce or order some time. Ok, ahí está. O sea, hay que identificar sujeto, main verb, and then complement. Ok, so así quedaría. I would like to know if the manufacturer will buy la 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 la. Ok. Nice. Uh, let's see, Sulma, Rosaura, number three. Let's see, how do you have it? Uh, do you know if the schedule and production control forms are complete? Perfect. There you go. Yes, it is correct. Okay. Así queda eso. Do you know if? Ok, sujeto, the schedule and production control forms. Hasta aquí llega el sujeto. Ok, ¿cuál es el verbo? Are. Entonces quedaría, do you know if the schedule and production control forms are complete? Ok, so todo el sujeto, luego verbo y luego lo que, lo que sea que sigue. Ok, nice. Uh, let's see Adri. Uh, number four. You like to find out if the operation plan describes the process parameter. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yes. I would like to find out if 
The operation plan describes describes the process uh, parameters, right? En este caso, el sujeto es the operation plan. Ok, the operation plan. Entonces, aquí tengo un auxiliar, right? Does. ¿Qué dice la indicación que voy a hacer cuando tengo un auxiliar? No incluido. No, no incluido. Ok, not included. Ok, no included. Ahora bien, aquí hay, hay algo gramatical que sufre un cambio. Cuando yo tengo un auxiliar, esto lo vieron allá en, en febrero, en el presente simple. Allá le explicaron que cuando usted tiene un auxiliar, en este caso que sea do or does, porque estamos hablando de presente simple, el verbo no cambia. ¿Se acuerdan de eso? Pero le dijeron que cuando usted no tiene un auxiliar y usted está hablando de tercera persona, al verbo se le agrega una S o una ES o una IES. ¿Se acuerdan de eso? verdad? Eso lo vieron allá en el presente simple. Esas son las reglas básicas del presente simple. ¿Ok? So, en este caso, ¿qué sucede? Yo elimino el auxiliar. ¿El verbo cambia o no cambia? Sí. Cambia sí. because it's the third person. Perfect. Amazing. There you go. Entonces, aquí yo no voy a decir. Uh, sí, aquí está bien. Right? I would like to find out if the operation no, plan no, no. describes. Aquí le tengo que poner una S. The process parameter, bla, 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 lo que sea. Ok, aquí. Tendría yo que poner una S porque the no. operation plan sería tercera persona. Ok, y ya no tengo un auxiliar. Tengo que aplicar la regla gramatical del presente simple. Nice. Let's continue. Ok, let's see. Um, let's see. Vamos a ver a quién no le hemos preguntado. Oh, Lourdes Beatriz. Nice to see you. Lourdes, nice. Number five, let's see, veamos si lo mm. logramos completar. Ok. Do you have any idea if, if we will go for a small batch or mass production? Perfect. Yeah, that's the way it is. Ok. That's the correct one. Ok. Do you know, do you, I'm sorry, do you have any idea if... We, okay, if we will go for a uh, for small match or mass production, okay? So, ahí está. Sujeto, verbo y complemento. Y ahí tenemos, no tenemos ningún otro cambio, okay? Queda exactamente igual. Nice. Let's see the last one, the last one. Vamos a ver. ¿A quién le dejamos el premio final? Eh, Ada Patricia, Ada Patricia, veamos cómo le quedó a usted. Um, I was wondering if you recite the quote of the raw, raw material provided. Okay, perfect, nice. I was wondering if you Aquí Recent. pasa lo mismo, right? Uh -huh. Elimino el did, ok, porque dijimos que esos auxiliares se quitan y sucede en este caso, el verbo tiene que modificarlo, ok. I was wondering if uh, you received, received, aquí tendría yo que ponerle la D al final al verbo, received, the codes of raw material providers. Okay. Y aquí en este caso no lleva question mark. Esta no lleva question mark porque no tengo una WH. O sea, es como que no sea pregunta. Como una oración nada más. I was wondering if you received the quote the quotes of the raw material providers okay no le ponen el question mark nice so 
did you get now a better idea? O sea, fíjense bien, aquí solo le agrego el if y eh, sujeto, verbo y lo demás. Ok, so that is the idea. So, my goodness, la tendence. Santo Dios. El tiempo pasa extremely fast. So, uh, let's see, Ada Patricia. Present. Thank you, Adri. Present, teacher. Nice, Michelle. Present. Thank you, Angela. Present, teacher. Nice, Darwin. Present, teacher. Thank you, Flor de Maria. Flor de Maria, no? Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Thank you, Joana Patricia. Lourdes Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Margarita Stephanie. I'm here. Thank you, Mayra Melanie. Present, teacher. Thank you, Nelson. Present, teacher. Nice, Ophelia. Here, teacher. Thank you, uh, Osmin. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rafael Ernesto. Present. Thank you, uh, Rosa Elena. Present. Thank you. Ro Let's see, Sandra Gladys. Sandra Gladys. Careful with the mute. Uh, Sandra, 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 Gladys, aquí está. Hola, hola. Sandra Gladys, no sé por aquí la veo conectada. Eh, Susana Carolina. Present. Thank you, Jancy Elizabeth. I'm sorry, Jancy Elizabeth. Ya le estoy cambiando el nombre. Zulma okay. <laughs> Rosaura. Present. Okay, nice. Let's see. We have, I have one more. Um, let me see one more activity right here. Okay, read the different questions. So I guess that we are going to do this exercise. Okay, let me share the screen. Así finalizamos esto de los indirect. Okay, now you can see the screen. So we are going to continue with this. I know that we have the, the, the other activity pending, but we need to finish this, okay? As soon as we finish this, so we will have time for the other activity, okay? The one that was from yesterday, okay? Look, it says right here, read the direct questions and change them into indirect um, question using polite expressions. Remember I told you the direct ones, they are informal. The indirect ones are the very polite. So look, where is the station, okay? Direct question. Could you tell me where the station is? So yes, Esther, right? Could you tell me where uh, the station is? So ahí le cambio, right? So that's what we are going to do, okay? So let me take a screenshot for me to send it to you in the group. Okay. So that's what we are going to do, okay? So vamos a tratar de pasarlas a indirect, ok, acuérdense que sujeto, verbo y complemento, ok so, tratemos de ver si las logramos hacer, son like six in this case, so, are we clear about what we are going to do? Yes ok, nice, so let me reopen yeah. the, yes uh, I have a question when when in a question don't use um w h for example the second mm -hmm. 
¿cómo se, cómo se iniciaría la, la, la pregunta? Porque no tenemos una W, una pregunta con... Uh -huh, una WH. Ahí uh -huh. se, seguiríamos el mismo orden. Por ejemplo, aquí ya nos da como like the, the beginning of the, of the indirect question. Could you, well, could you let me know if you are coming to the party? Uh, ok. Uh -huh. Siempre eh, le voy a seguir. Ahora, si, si tengo un auxiliar, ahí es donde lo quitamos. Ok. Uh -huh. Pero de ahí el sujeto verbo. No cambia, solo lo invierto, porque en la primera oración está, are you coming to the party? And then ahora le voy a poner, you are. Ok. Entonces, cuando no tenemos una WH, es que usamos frases iniciales. Por así decirlo. Sí, podría ser. Por ejemplo, I wonder, la que vimos en el ejemplo anterior, Ajá. right? Que le dice, I wonder. O sea, ahí está haciendo, no es como where, no hay un do. No hay una uh -huh. pregunta, pero esa, ese I wonder, I would like to know if. So, ese hace ya la, la pregunta formal, que es lo que estamos viendo, right? Indirect, it's formal, formal, formal question. Ok. okay. Gracias, teacher. Nice, perfect. So, creo que vamos a quedarnos con los mismos grupitos para no estar eh, volviéndolos a crear. Creo que sí. Ok, ya. Ustedes mismos vamos a volver a unirnos. So, let me open the rooms right now. Ella dijo iniciar con una frase educada, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Lo único que aquí ya está la, la frase de inicio, eh, Margarita, que sería, could you let me know? No. Ajá. You are. You are, Ajá. Coming. You are coming to the party. Ok. No, pero sería cool. You let me know if. Ah. If you are. Muy bien. Es cierto. Ok. La otra sería. Could you tell me. If. if. How does. No, how. It works. ¿Verdad? Quiero ver. Could how you tell me. If. It works. It works. Con S al final, porque es tercera persona. It works. If it works, nada más. Ajá. Uh -huh. If it works. O no sería, could you tell me how? Mm, no, oh. yo creo que siempre usaríamos el who. Pero La ¿dónde iría el who? De primero. Sería. Yo lo estoy viendo de... Could you tell me who if if who it works? Who is? Porque who? no la primera se dijo ella o no dijo el teacher. Eh, could you tell me if, if 
where is where the station is. Uh -huh. Entonces aquí sería, would you tell me if who it's it works? ¿Qué opinan? It is, it is correct. I'm sorry, que estoy escuchando dos aquí, pero las estoy escuchando a ustedes. Ya. Yeah. And this one, number three, right? Could you tell me if it works? Se entiende, ok? Porque la pregunta es cómo funciona, cómo trabaja, right? Uh -huh. Podríamos omitir el how. Sí, sí, okay. porque si no suena redundante. Uh -huh. Si yo lo traduzco, could you tell me if, how it works, right? Ah, uh, ok. Pero okay. sí, sí, está gramaticalmente correcto. Ahí lo que yo tengo que eliminar es el auxiliar. Ah, ok. okay. Uh -huh. uh, do you know how close it is? Uy. La cuatro... Do you know if no, no sí. el uno el uno se agrega ah es cierto ajá entonces esta sería ah, como okay. la seis anterior que eh, la teacher explicó no, no que no no se mira no. entonces esa sería you know if Ajá, esta no sería pregunta, ¿verdad? Así como la seis. Uh -huh. Porque you si know. lleva un tú, o será que... Ajá, no. Yo digo que... ¿Podría quedar, you know if has Lucy been to Mexico? Aunque me surge la duda porque al principio de las oraciones, o sea, esto es como para ser amable, pero lo que vamos a agregar después del if es lo que no tiene que llevar el do or das o lo que sea. Ah, yo te entendí la idea. Entonces sería, do you know if Lucy, eh, bueno, has es un auxiliar. Pero, pero no sé, yo creo que esa sí la deberían, lo, lo del principio sí va sí o sí. Mm -hmm. Ok, entonces sería, do you know Lucy? Do you know if, uh, do you know if Lucy has been to Mexico? Ajá, creo yo. O sea que el has sí. pasaría después del sujeto, ¿verdad? Sí, Ajá, porque, porque ese sería el, el auxiliar. Ajá. Ajá, sí, sí, pues sí. Do you know if, do you know if Lucy has been to Mexico? Sí. Ok. ¿Qué significa? ¿Tú sabes si Lucy tiene... Bien. No, ¿cuándo se ocupa el have? Ah, no, este es como... Presente y pe como el que estábamos viendo en la unidad pasada, ¿verdad? Has been. No sé qué significa ¿verdad? bien. Bien es el. Ah, no, ese no es. Vega, no. Sí, sería el, el, el perfecto, right? ¿Verdad? Exacto. Uh -huh. No se ve el But, el 5 Can you tell me If Your brother Live in your brother In Argentina Pero aquí Ya no sería pregunta entonces En este caso no sería el, das. el das Y agregarle el live Ah, es cierto. Entonces sería, can you tell me if your brother lives Live. in Ajá. Argentina? Uh -huh. Así, sí. elimino el dos. Ok. ¿Verdad? Would you mind? Ay, no veo. 
Would you mind telling, Would you mind telling me telling me it, how long it takes? Oh no, no. Uh -huh. It takes to get there. If. Uh -huh. Would you mind telling me if how long it takes to get there? Sí. sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Usted dice que sería Would you mind telling me if how um, long it, it takes to get uh -huh. there? To get there. Uh -huh. Ok. Elimino el dash, right? Elimino el dash. Y lo demás se queda igual. Ajá. Agregando ese al take. Exacto. Ok. Take. What are you doing? O sea, do you mind telling me if what you are doing take if what to get. Ajá. What you are doing. Ok. Sería if if you are share help me Rafael Sí, es que se me trabó el celular en el y grupo me... 3 creo que lo puse a usted no me acuerdo con con Ángela Gloria Ah, okay, sí, va pues el 3 ahorita Copiando, así porque no podemos dejar. Sí, yo quise compartir, pero me trabajo en la máquina. Yo no tengo la máquina. ¿Cómo vamos, chicas? Ok, the first. Eh, ¿Cómo se la topa? Ajá. Hello, teacher. I confuse in it. In it. Oh. Oh, continue, Robert. Okay. Five. Number five for me is can you tell me? Uh, can, you can you tell you, me if your you brother burn. lives? Your brother lives in Argentina? Yes. Uh -huh. ahí, ahí le agrego el S, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ay, uh -huh. Estoy uh -huh. hablando en todo grupo. Uh -huh. Lives, right? Lives. Ajá, uh -huh. lives. Uh -huh. okay. That's exact. Okay, and, 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 and number three, could you tell me how it works? It's okay, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Solo le elimino el das, uh -huh. el das. El how? El das. Ajá, el das. Yes. Ah, ok, Nelson. It's, it's, okay. it's the same. Do you know? Ajá. A dónde? Con la cuatro. Ajá. El pas no se ve. Which one? Which one you say? I'm number sorry. Number four. Number four. Do you know if Lucy? Do you been... know if Lucy, uh -huh, if Lucy has been? Ah, uh -huh, has been. Uh -huh. Only... Solo, uh -huh, solo I tengo if... que tengo que invertir el orden, right? Uh -huh. No. Do you know? Do you know? Ah, no. Do you know Lucy has been to Mexico? Do you know if Lucy? Ah, if Lucy has been to Mexico. Exactly. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Do you know if if Lucy has been to Mexico? 
Uh -huh. sí. Ajá. Bien, creo que ya, ya estamos, pero yes. quiero ver este otro grupo cómo va. Ok. Number six. Would you mind telling me? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It takes. Would you, mind, would you mind telling me how long it takes to get there? Would you mind telling me how long it takes to get there? I think we put away the dust. Telling me how long it does what? Mm -hmm. Would you mean? Uh -huh. Would you mind telling me? You, would you mind tell me, telling tell me? me how how long it takes to get there? Okay. Uh-huh. It's 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 o cuánto falta para no sé cómo lo traducir. Sí. Do you Do mind you? telling me? You are. You are. Ah, number six. Is. Is. Number six, yes. How long it is? No, how long it takes? No, no, it's not necessary. Would you mind telling me? How long? No. How long it takes to get there? For me, for me, it's not necessary. It's only how, would you mind? Would you mind telling me how long it takes? ¿Qué tanto me tomaría llegar allá? Me, ¿eh? me tomaría llegar allá. Sí. En number seven, do you mind, do you mind telling me? Sí. What are you doing? Do you... ¿Te importaría decirme qué estás haciendo? Do you mind telling me what are you doing? Okay. Let me mute right here myself. Vamos. Ok, I'm sorry, es que estoy como en la toja hablando al mismo tiempo, entonces me pido loca. Eh, let's see, Joana ya está aquí. Joana, Joana, Joana. Mm, no. Joana, Joana, Joana. No sé qué pasó con ella. No me aparece aquí. Okay, I'm sorry. No sé, ya que me está escribiendo Joana porque dice que no la deja entrar, pero I don't know why. Okay, well, so let's continue. Let me let me share the screen one more time.
Okay, here we go. So let's see the number mm -hmm. one was kind of the example, okay? Just read it, um, Jancy Elizabeth, please. Number one. Um, could you tell me where the station is? Mm -hmm. Can be, right? Uh, could you tell me where the station is, right? So, le elimino el, el if ahí porque suena muy redundante. No se me estoy escuchando doble, pero... Permítame. Ok. Let me mute right here porque alguien tiene ahí el micrófono también. Ok, nice. Let's continue, okay? Let's see number two. Uh, number two, Osmin, help us, please. Right. Okay, it is let me now going to let now. I don't know, Osmin, casi no le escucho yo. Okay, could you let me now? You are coming, you let me now. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Pero como le quedaría? Could you Could let you me know? Let me know. Could you let me know? Uh, are coming? Uh -huh. Okay, no problem, Osmin. Remember, aquí ya tenemos como la, la beginning of the question, right? Eso no lo voy a cambiar, ya está así. Okay, so lo que yo tengo que hacer es después poner el if, si suena ahí que aplica un if, okay, and okay. then uh, the subject okay. and then the verb. Y lo demás lo dejo como está, right? Oh, hi. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. go ahead. You, you, you call, perdón. Could you let me now? Está bien, va. Mm -hmm. If no, mm -hmm. yeah, go ahead. If if you are coming, if you are coming, there you go to the party. Ahí el complemento, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Could let you know. let me know if you are coming to the party? Nice. Okay. Perfect. And the third one, uh, Mayra, Melanie, please. Okay. Number three, could you tell me how it works? Perfect. Okay. Could you tell me how it works, right? With S. Okay. The verb, porque le quitamos el auxiliary, right? Nice. Okay. Perfect. Uh, let's see, number four, uh, that will be for uh, Rosa Elena, please. Do you know if Lucy has been to Mexico? Perfect, okay. Do you know if uh, Lucy, right? Lucy has been to Mexico. Acá estoy hablando de present perfect, right? El present perfect, yo no le puedo quitar eh, el being, ¿verdad? Porque entonces no es present perfect, ¿ok? Se queda así, ¿ok? Con el presente perfecto. Es como que yo le diga, eh, y tú sabes si Lucía ha estado en México, ¿verdad? Es la formalidad, ¿verdad? Right? Bien amable. ¿Ok? Nice. Uh, let's see, Darwin, number five, please. Number five. Can you tell me if your brother lives in Argentina? Okay, perfect. Uh, can you tell me if right, your brother lives in Argentina? Okay, uh, estamos, nice. Let's see, the next one will be for... Um, Susana, Susana Hernández, number six. Hi, would you mind telling me how long it takes to get there? 
Okay, would you mind telling me how long, how long it, it takes to get there? Uh -huh. No sé si alguien lo, lo que le quedó diferente es. I guess no, right? So we no, have. No, teacher. Okay, nice. Thank you. Uh, well, Lourdes, Beatriz, ayúdenos con la. Number seven, please. Okay. Do you mind telling me if what you are doing? Esa teníamos tú. Le te tienes que hasta su suena así como un poco con el if, Rara. right? Do you mind mm -hmm. telling me what you are doing? Okay. So ahí le tendría que poner mejor el what, porque el if no, no, no pega ahí, no, no da, porque do you mind telling me if you are doing? No, 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 no da sentido la pregunta, ok? Ahí quedaría, do you mind telling me what you are doing? What you are doing. Uh -huh. Siempre sujeto, verbo, complemento, pero ahí ocupo siempre la WH para darle sentido a la pregunta de qué es lo que le estoy preguntando queriendo saber, right? Nice. Pero en esos casos se suprime bueno, el if. Ahí no pongo el if, right? Ahí no pongo okay. el if. O sea, también hay que darle un poquito de, acuérdese que lo que yo estoy tratando en este tema es que suene bien amable la pregunta, que suene bien bonita, que no, no se escuche pesada como, hey, ¿qué estás haciendo, right? What are you doing? Si le digo, what are you doing? Es que, ¿qué haces, right? So, entonces, do you mind telling me este, do you mind, al igual que el wow, cuando alguien le pregunte así, do you mind, es bien formal, bien educado, muy, muy educado, como cuando usted saluda a alguien y alguien le saluda, muy buenos días, ¿qué tal? Así bien bonito, hay right? una conversación bien amena, right? So, do you mind telling me, bien, podría, por favor. Le molestaría, por favor, right? Do you mind? Nice. Okay, sí, so sure. we finish this, yes? Entonces, solo confirmando, cuando hay WH question, no ocupamos el if, pero cuando hay como verbos en is o en, así por ejemplo, como has, cuando son okay. present oh, perfect, sí, ahí sí. Uh -huh. Ajá. Exacto, exacto. Porque mm. acordémonos que dijimos, que los auxiliares los quito, los tengo que eliminar. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ok. Ya, yeah. ok. Vaya pues. Uy, ¿qué estoy haciendo? Agregando una página en blanco. Ok, so well, now you know how to talk in very formal, ok. Ya no le hable este impolite a la gente, hable bonito, esté bien. Um, Do you know if, right? So, bien formal. So, ah, uh, my goodness, the same 20 minutes. Vamos a terminarlo de ayer porque no se me ha olvidado. Okay, let me stop sharing for a while. And we are going to try to create the same, the same rooms. Let me see. Abby, ayúdenme a decirme quién iba con quién para... Bueno, Nelson y mi teacher. Bye, let me recreate. Bye, veamos. Ana Michelle, ¿con quién iba usted, Ana Michelle? Con Mayra uh -huh. y con Zulma, creo. Zulma, vamos a mover a Zulma. Yeah. Ok, bien. Bye. Entonces, en el room one está Michelle, Zulma en Mayra. Ok, nice. Ada Patricia, ¿usted con quién estaba? No, teacher. Yo ayer no asistí a clases porque estaba trabajando. Ah, ok. Bien. Entonces, ya vamos a incluirla en un grupo. ¿A Margarita? Usted no estaba ayer tampoco, ¿verdad? No, teacher, por el trabajo. Uh -huh. Vaya, vale, pero entonces en el room two... Ahí se van a quedar entonces ustedes dos de momento. Angela, ¿con quién eh, estamos? Con mi niña Rosalena y este, 
Um, Susana Carolina. Ok, ahorita. Ok, Rosa Elena, yes. entonces va al room 3. Y Susana me dijo, ¿verdad? Yes, me. Ok, Susana. Ya está ahí en el room 3, entonces vamos a sacar. Darwin, ¿usted con quién iba? Con Rafa y Ofelia. Ok, vamos. Angela, Rosa y Susana, ¿verdad? Right? Yes. Right. Ok, ahorita vamos a ver. Margarita. Ofelia. Ay, Dios mío, ¿qué se me hizo Darwin? Darwin manifiesta. Ok, Darwin, Ofelia y Rafa me dice, pero Rafa está aquí. Creo que se salió. Nelson. Yes, I come back. Ah, ok, ahorita entonces lo vamos a agregar. Mío, no encuentro a Rafa, Rafa, Rafael. No me aparece. Vale, espérame, ya voy a ver cómo lo muevo. Eh, Lourdes, Beatriz, ¿con quién va usted? With Osmin and Nelson. Osmin and Nelson. Okay, entonces, Lourdes está en el room 6. Aquí vamos a mover a Osmin. Y Nelson ya está ahí. Jancy Lisbeth, ¿usted con quién iba? Con Adriana y Sandra. Vaya, Lourdes, Nelson Osmin, ustedes tres. Sandra va con Adriana. Darwin, Ofelia, y no sé por qué no encuentro a los que no he asignado. Bye. Pero I will create the rooms right now. Vaya, confirmo Lourdes, Nelson, Osmin, están bien. Darwin, yeah. Ofelia, está bien, pero aquí falta Rafa, que por algún motivo no me aparece. Sandra, <risa> Gloria y Adriana van juntas. Por el momento, Rosalena, Susana y Angela, you three. Jancy, Margarita, Enada, están bien. Zulma, eh, Mayra y Michelle están bien. So, voy a crear estos rooms. Quiero ver. Sí. Y los que me hacen falta los voy a agregar al final porque no sé por qué no me deja. Ok, let's finish the, let's finish the, the, the conversation. Hoy sí tiene que quedar finalizado, ok. Eh, Jan, si usted me dijo que iba con Adri y Gloria, ¿verdad? No, y Sandra. Yo me sacó eh, el no sé por qué. Adri. No veo a Sandra. Bueno, déjeme enviarla donde está Adriana y Stephanie, ¿verdad?
del producto del champú. Hello, hello, Algo hello. así entendido. Yo, sí. Aquí vengo, hello. aquí vengo. Este, bueno, ustedes dos me van a trabajar juntitas. Les voy uh -huh. a reenviar, les voy a mandar la imagen de lo que se está haciendo. Es esta imagen, o sea, estamos haciendo una conversación. En el caso suyo la hacen entre ustedes okay. dos. Okay. La conversación es similar a la que les acabo de enviar al grupo de WhatsApp. Estamos tratando de usar las palabras que están en bold, right? Like las que están en negrita. I mm. wonder if you, I like to know if, ok. So hay que hacer una conversación. En este caso ellos están en tres porque están los grupos de tres, pero ya no hay nadie más, ¿verdad? Entonces quedamos nosotros dos. Entonces hay que hacer una pequeña conversación tratando de usar esas palabritas. Puede, okay. puede ser otro producto, puede inventar lo que sea de un proceso, pero tratar de usar esas expresiones, ¿verdad? Right? Okay. O sea, no es necesario usar todas, sino no, que elegir no. que se adecuen. Exacto. Uh -huh. Ok, perfecto, teacher. Ok. okay. Trabajamos en ello. Thank you. A usted. Ok, entonces vamos a ver. Dice que tiene que ser un lanzamiento de un nuevo producto. Y esto no de cualidad. Ahí va a ser Adriana. Bye. Ok, Ada. Sí. No sé si ya leyó la, la conversación. Sí, ya la leí. Y en el primer, en la primera parte, este dice, I wonder if you reside with a copy. Entonces, este ahí sí sería de. Eh, Agregarle algo del para el para el para el no, del, no está... the new product sería, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ok, podría decir. Wonder, what is the meaning? Wonder. ¿Qué es lo que significa? Uh, yo... eh, me pregunto si recibiste una copia. I wonder if you received a copy. Me pregunto si recibiste una copia. Supuestamente es la traducción, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, entonces sería, podríamos decir, I wonder if you receive a new product, ¿verdad? A new product. Uh -huh. también arriba. Eh, podríamos, y la otra persona le dice. Uh, yes, I receive, uh, I receive a new product. A new product. Yes, yes, I receive. I a new product. Eh, the the area marketing design Ajá. podríamos decir algo así como el área de mercadeo decidió y cuál sería el nuevo producto ajá por eso cuál hablar del, del producto ajá el área de mercadeo eh, decidió, sería diaria marketing, insider. Eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué podríamos vender? Este, pudiera ser una, bueno, ya que está de moda, ¿verdad? Algún producto para bajar de peso, por decir así. Uh -huh. eh, sería una máquina. Puede ser. Va, entonces podríamos decir. Eh, the area marketing decided eh, like a new product. Como un nuevo producto. Uh, yes, este, yes, I received a new product. Pudiera ser el. De ahí habla la otra persona. 
la otra persona le dice diarrea marketing eh, decided, decided like a new product a machine for para uso en los gimnasios algo así for, for Oh. Sí, el área de marketing, diseñar un nuevo. Decidió. Ajá. Está igualita, de verdad. Decidió que... un nuevo producto, decided like a new product, a machine, una máquina. Ajá. For, for do exercise. Para hacer ejercicio, for do exercise. For two exercise. Eh, entonces le pregunta a la otra persona. Eh, I'd like to know. Uh, uh, I'd like to know. Me gustaría El, saber. I, I would like to know. Ajá, uh -huh, I would like to know. Ajá. Uh -huh. Where. Eh, I'll, ah, pero me sería. I'd like to know. If uh, 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 si la si, 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 si se vende, oh, quiero decir algo así como si se venderá en los gimnasios. Ajá. Uh -huh. If if The machine we uh -huh. sell will sell in in different gym. Uh -huh. This is the idea. I like I would like to know if the machine will will be. O sea, quitarle eso de los números. En diferentes No sé si, si cree que está bien. Tu ser, eh, ser es. Eh, eh, ¿Cómo le digo yo? Eh, deletrear. Sí, por favor. Vender. Eh, ajá, vender. Ese, creo que es S-E-L-L. -L. No me recuerdo. Ajá, sí, sí. Es, sí, se va Ajá. Ajá. Entonces sería. Usted lo va anotando, ¿verdad? Sí, pero ahí después nos vamos a, a ir a, a ver qué, quién, qué vamos a decir cada uno. Ahorita solo he leído. Ok, Ajá. entonces sería. I'd like to know if the machine will, will be. be Ajá, will be to sell in different gyms. En diferentes gimnasios. Entonces le puede decir la otra persona. Yes. Eh, I like. Uh, I will like. Sell. I will like. I will like. With. A ver, I will like. Dios mío. Okay, so welcome back to the main room. So, my goodness, I had three meals only to pass the attendance. So I have just one group, uh, one conversation right here for Lourdes, Osmin and Nelson, okay? So please try to send the rest. So send the conversation that you have, okay? So tomorrow we will do the midterm quiz and we will cover part of the first class, uh, finish the unit number three, okay? So uh, don't worry, okay? Remember that the idea is practice, right? Practice, 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 use the language, use the expression, so that's the idea. Don't worry, whatever you have in the conversation, please 
uh, send it in the WhatsApp group, okay? So, probablemente no le pusieron closing al final, pero it's okay, okay? No problem. So, let me pass the attendance um, one more time, just to make sure. Uh, Ada Patricia. Present. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie. Present. Thank you. Michelle. Present. Thank you, Angela. Present, teacher. Thank good you. Uh, good night, uh, Darwin. Present, teacher. Thank you, Flor de Maria. Gloria Elizabeth. Here. Thank you, Joana Patricia. Uh, Lourdes Beatriz. Present. Thank you, Margarita. Mayra I'm here. Mel Thank you, Mayra Melanie. Present, teacher. Nice, Nelson Edgardo. Lour Let's see. Present Ophelia teacher. Orellana. Here, teacher. Thank you, Osmin. Rafael Thank Ernesto. You. Thank you. Nice, Rosa Elena. Present. Thank you, Sandra Gladys. Be careful with the mute. No me deja poner mute. Esto se quedó freeze. Pensé que me había sacado la llamada. Híjole. Creo que se me está queriendo caer el inter. My goodness. Que no se nos corte el video porque lo tenemos que regrabar, chicos. Así que esto no puede fallar. Tenemos que regrabarlo y, y, sin, y sin goce de nada. <ríe> ok. Uh, Sandra Gladys. Susana Carolina. Present. Thank you. Um, Jancy Lisbeth. Present. Zulma Rosaura. Ok, uh -huh. nice. Casi llegamos a la asistencia perfecta. Solo nos faltó Flor de María y Joana, que al final no se pasó, que no se pudo meter. Bien. Eh, well, so, ¿quién se queda hoy conmigo? ¿Quién se queda hoy conmigo? Eh, Osmin, Osmin. Ofelia ya, ya se quedó. Rafael se quedó ayer. Osmen, usted le corresponde, right? Oh, sí, usted ya estuvo, que lo, lo cambié por su trabajo. Bueno, quiero ver. Rosa Elena. ¿Mi? Ya, Rosa Elena, hoy le tocó el desvelo. Vale. Le, okay. le tocó la desvelación. <laughs> okay. ok, so we are free to go. Tomorrow it's Friday. I know it's Friday, but he knows. It. But we have class. Ya sabe, después de las 10, si usted se quiere ir de parranda, está bien. Pero tenemos clase. Así que puede estar ya ahí listo con la ropa y todo ya. Con la cartera en la mano, estar aquí a las 10. Agarre vuelo. But then before we have class, okay? Thank you for your time. Thank you for the conversations. I have three. Faltan tres más, okay? Ahí me las mandan. And I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Don't worry. You are free to go out. Bye-bye. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Sí, ya tu morito, mañana hay clase, aunque es viernes, pero no se El puede. El cuerpo ir. lo sabe. Ya, yeah, I know, but we have class, ok, a las 10, todavía es buena hora para que vaya de parranda. Bye, bye, teacher. Bye, bye, take care, thank you, thank you. Bye, bye, teacher. Bye, bye, take care, Andrew. Hey, hoy no salió Matías. Bye, bye, teacher. Good night, Patricia. Cuídese. Uh, Gloria. Gloria, Gloria, Lisa. Ahí está. Ok. 
Hoy sí, ya nos quedamos uh, solitas, Rosa Elena. <laughs> We are alone. So, how are you, Rosa Elena? Fine, fine. Today is our day, but I'm not feeling uh, tired. 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 Yeah. tired. yeah, no, no. I okay. have energy. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, that's nice. That's yeah. nice. I well, still have energy. it's nice to talk with you, uh, Rosa Elena. And well, unfortunately, it's just a few minutes, right? And yes. it's just one time during the course. But I would like to know uh, your opinion, how you feel um, about the classes. What do you think about what we are learning? What is your oh, perception? I'm so excited because. In my opinion, I feel that I'm learning so much. Oh, really nice. Yes, yes. I know that falta uh, mucho. Uh, yeah, we have yeah. to work a lot, okay? Yeah, and... I have to work a lot because <laughs> my dream is be, being a full believer, but but you are nice you are amazing okay so you have very nice uh, pronunciation and besides that you have a lot of vocabulary so that is a plus that you have okay because we have people that they talk well they pronounce their words correctly but they don't have too much vocabulary and that's the the extra that you have okay yeah. you have a lot of words a lot of vocabulary and that is the the the, the plus that when you are talking I, you know how to say the things i follow the advices for my other teachers they tell me you have to learn vocabulary you have to take a a note notepad in my case i have a, a this is my 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 book <laughs> mm -hmm. and when i when i was watching a series or a movie in english because i i learned to see in english with traduction in english mm -hmm. no spanish and there are a lot of words and i say oh my god i say <laughs> i say that and i i like it i like it mm -hmm. yeah that's the way as i told you in the class or whatever where you are reading or something and you say something new write it down but that's that's uh the problem that sometimes uh, students they see a uh, work and say i don't know what it is but they don't care yeah. and that's not the, the the way as i told you every time that you see a new work in the class in the tv or in a book whatever so write it down and then look for the word and try to use the word when I listen music in English and I listen some words and I say, what is that? For mm -hmm. example, I, all my life I was listening the, 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 oh my God, uh, the son of the Rocky Four, mm -hmm. a burning heart. There is a word that I learned is unquenchable. My God, unquenchable. What is unquenchable? Yeah. And I learned that unquenchable is something uh, that cannot be satisfied. Mm -hmm. Okay. Say, so oh, imagine. it's unquenchable. <laughs> yeah, unquenchable. Because I, I sing the song. I don't, I don't want you to hurry. Unquenchable. What is that? And <laughs> yeah, that's a weird word, right? Yes, really yes, weird. It's really it's a word. But oh my God, unquenchable. I have an unquenchable heart. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But you and are doing. You are. You are doing nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, you you have the 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 energy and everything for the class. And I see that you are focused on what you are doing. Okay. Oh. And that is that is nice. So sometimes, if you continue like that, so you will be more than bilingual. You will sometimes see. Sometimes I feel that I'm I'm so metida. <laughs> No, 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 because no. nobody speaks and I speak, and, and that, I say, that's, that's that's the, the idea. That's, that's the, the idea. idea, and that's we what I, we exactly need we need to talk, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to push people, yes, say it, say it, if read I it. Made mistake, if I make mistake, I learn exactly. That's yeah, that's the, the way only, it is. It's the only 
the only time, the opportunity that you yeah. have to practice, mm -hmm. okay, outside the class, it is difficult for you to talk in English with somebody else. So you have to take advantage of the a, time. I have a friend at work. He, mm -hmm. he, he, he can speak English. And sometimes I speak with him. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, have uh, you uh, ever studied in a different place or the English that you know right now, English. you learn it here? Uh, no, I learned, I was learning, oh my God, in 1993, about 1993, I studied at the CCS, but I quit, I quit. Mm -hmm. Like the Cent Centro Cultural, right? Yes. Uh -huh. I school, studied there. The, yeah. that, that, that was the place where I learned my English. Uh, then I quit, but I returned in 2003, and I was until... Seven, the seven thing, seven thing. I am. They have like this, more than six. twenty courses. I complete all the the courses from. Yeah, uh, no, I can't. I can't because my my daughter was born and I can't. No, okay. I say no more. <laughs> and but I like. It. I like. But it now much. that you have this action that it's at home online, so you don't have to travel so yes. it is, this is the, the best opportunity you have when the when the last year the last year on, the, on december i say i need to learn english and i start in january mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and look you have almost a year right yes. here in this in oh. this program and now we, you improved we were a lot. about we were about five of the company but at this moment, I'm only the one that I continue. You are the only one. You are the yeah, only. I'm the only one that I continue. Yeah, my, but when my partner quits. <laughs> yeah, the thing is that it's not easy. I I know I understand, and I always say, yeah, it's not easy, but we have to do uh, or effort to do it because, of course, you can do it. Okay, but you need to spend. I know that you have to work, that you have to clean the house, you have to cook and everything, but spend like 10 minutes only a date, 10 minutes for you to review your notes, learn one word, learn one, one past bird. participle of the bird, learn one uh, phrasal verb, and of course, at the end of the year, imagine how many words you will know. Yes, yes. But mm -hmm. the thing is that sometimes we are like, no, I don't have time, so I just. Uh, but English, English, you can, you can, you can learn English, listening, listening to music, watching yeah, listening series, to music, listening to in your phones, as I told you. Yes. I, I, mm -hmm. Believe me, I, I will ask tomorrow about the phones. That is something very simple. And I'm 100% sure that most of them, they have it in Spanish. Yes. Oh, my God. No. Mm -hmm. That's awful. <laughs> exactly. Because they want no. to learn, but they don't want to do the effort, yes. the extra. Yes. And that's, that's what you do. And that is yes. nice. Okay. Yes. That is nice. I, I like it. That is nice, and um, it's nice to, to have people like you in the class that is always willing with the uh, feeling to talk in English because sometimes they say, no, in English, no, pregúnteme en español. Yeah, no, no. So, <laughs> and that's not the case because you are here to listen to someone in English, talking in English, saying everything in English, but... Uh, algunos me dicen, mira, es que no hablo mucho inglés, ¿por qué? <laughs> no. So, no, we are intermediate. So, at, yeah. the, at the first uh, level, like beginners, so I get different, right? But now we are intermediate. So, next year you will be advanced. So, no. No. yeah, but thank you, um, Rosa Elena, for your time. I really appreciate Believe me that I'm glad to have you in my group. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I'm happy to hear that you are learning something okay yes i'm learning so much i tell to my boss only english please oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's nice yes, that's I, nice i like it i like it i enjoy okay. it i enjoy okay. the class sometimes i feel down but but it's I normal it's normal and because I, and i walk for a minute and then i sit again <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i know I like it's it. normal because we are tired, but we are doing nice. Okay, I'm extremely happy with the whole group because 
they have good a good relation between you and that is a plus oh, yes, for the yes. group that are okay. very nice nice mm -hmm. yeah they are okay well thank you so much for yes. your time Rosalyn. i hope okay. to see you tomorrow and okay. thank you for your time appreciate okay. it okay it's a pleasure being in the class with you thank you miss appreciate all the all the I time appreciate. when we have a new teacher oh my god your teacher oh my god maybe he's, <laughs> he's, he's enojado angry angry <laughs> Yes, maybe we'll be hungry or bored. I don't know, but you are you are very nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Appreciate okay. it. Okay, thank take you. care. Enjoy the rest of the okay. night. And sleep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Thank okay. you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.